At the beginning of 2020, no one would have guessed we would spend the entire year locked down in quarantine. As 2021 kicks into gear, while I may not know if another pandemic is on the horizon, it's our job to help you anticipate what lies ahead for online video. So today I'm going to lay out four important trends that you need to leverage to grow your video streaming business in 2021 and beyond. Hey, I'm Daniel and welcome to Uscreen, the best place for anyone learning how to start and grow their online video streaming business. Over the last couple decades, we've seen online videos evolve from short ads and viral videos to vlogs and 24 hour live streams. Go ahead, smash that like button. Smash the subscribe button. Stop saying that! With new technology paving the way for more engaging video formats, the question is this, how do you incorporate new trends and tactics into your online video strategy? And after the year we all had in 2020, you're probably wondering what in the world is in store for us in 2021. Spoiler alert, aliens. And if you're running or plan to launch your own streaming service, it just makes sense to know exactly what the top trends are and how to leverage them. The good news is that there's growth on the way. And in the rest of this video, I'm going to cover the big video trends headed our way this year and how we can leverage them. And be sure to stick around to the very end of this video for a special bonus tip. It seems like every few weeks there's another new camera, lens, or accessory launching that has all the tech YouTubers buzzing. Oh my gosh, my name is on it! <sighs> With 4K and even 8K cameras, high-speed cameras, drones, 360 cameras, and much more hitting the market with new features and improvements all the time, it can be really tempting to think you have to keep up. But just because there's new shiny gear does not mean you have to buy it or even use it. It's much more important that you focus on substance and telling a compelling story while providing value. In fact, that's one of the best ways to make sure your message is heard. The winners with online videos aren't the ones with the fanciest gear. It's the ones who know how to effectively communicate their message to their audience. Contrary to popular belief, video production doesn't have to be expensive. We all have smartphones in our pockets and the vast majority of those devices shoot video in 4K. Rather than getting caught up in the hype of new and exciting technology, which won't be adopted by the mainstream for a while anyway, you should focus on starting where you are with what you have. Dee Nimmin actually has a great channel dedicated to mastering mobile video here on YouTube, so be sure to check that out. I'm a strong supporter of learning how to get the best possible image out of your smartphone camera first. Filmic Pro is a great app to help you do just that. If you're not sure how adjusting your aperture affects the depth of field of your photos and videos, or you're unsure how ISO affects your image, then there's a good chance you still have work to do in understanding how to get the best image out of your smartphone. If you don't know how to optimize the image on your smartphone, there's a good chance that buying expensive equipment isn't gonna change that. Why buy expensive gear first when you don't know how to use it? Use what you have and get better with that before spending money on upgrades. If you're interested in learning a few tactics for improving your videos without spending any money, then you need to watch my video on that topic. I know I just mentioned three resources at once, so don't worry if you missed them. I'll actually put the links to those things in the description below. In 2021 and beyond, search engine algorithms will continue to develop, improve, and become more dynamic than ever. Just look at any given search on Google, and there's a good chance that part of the search results on the first page includes a carousel of related videos. This means that video is no longer peripheral. It is front and center on the world's largest search engine. That's a huge opportunity for your videos to be found by new potential viewers. All of that is without mentioning that YouTube, the second largest search engine in the world, will also show your video front and center if it's ranking for the appropriate tags, keywords, title, etc. With that in mind, optimizing your video content for search should be one of your top priorities this year. If you're publishing content on YouTube, then optimizing your videos for search isn't optional if you want it to be relevant for more than a week or so. YouTube is not a video platform, it's a search platform. If you're not currently publishing content on YouTube, why not? Even though it's a crowded platform, there's still tons of opportunity and room for growth. Our Uscreen YouTube channels have garnered over a million combined views in relatively short order and allowed us to reach more people than ever before. Tons of new video content is uploaded every day across the internet, making video search optimization more important than ever to help your content get found and seen by the people who need it most. If you're looking for tools to help you optimize your videos for search on YouTube, then you cannot go wrong with TubeBuddy. We've used it here at Uscreen for a long time and it has served us very well. 
My personal prediction for 2021 is that live streaming is going to absolutely explode. I know it's already big, but I think it's going to pop on a level that most people aren't expecting. I wouldn't be surprised to see a platform like Twitch blow up and have a massive year. The watch time of live content is up 250% over the last year, and the number of live streaming events available has increased by 300%. But why should you jump on live streaming? It can be difficult to get set up, and it can be intimidating to deliver a message live to your audience. Your concerns are valid. We face them as a team as well in determining when and how and why to host live streams, but there are a few reasons that you should lean towards adding live streaming to your strategy this year. Live videos are often prioritized by social media algorithms because they're happening in real time and can get people to come to the platform and stay there as they watch and engage. Live videos offer you an opportunity to engage and connect with your audience on a more personal level. There's a reason we all love watching bloopers from our favorite movies and TV shows. I was so full of testosterone, I actually killed a coyote. Sure, they're funny, but they also show us that our favorite actors are actually just people who make mistakes like the rest of us. It's humanizing. When you make a mistake or fumble your words or make a joke on your live stream, you humanize yourself to your viewing audience. As the world becomes increasingly digital, the hunger for human connection and engagement is intensifying. Live streaming offers a solution. You can connect with people across the planet who have the same interests, beliefs, values, and passions as you. These niche communities already thrive online, but live streaming brings those communities even closer together. That's without mentioning that live streams can hook viewers for up to three times longer than pre-recorded videos while producing up to six times more interactions than standard on-demand content like you find on YouTube. Just for some perspective, YouTube's record for most concurrent live stream viewers was actually set in 2012 when 8 million people tuned in to watch skydiver Felix Baumgartner do his space jump. In 2020, one of the largest live streams of the entire year had 665,000 concurrent viewers. Just based on the discrepancy between those two numbers, you can see there is still room for growth when it comes to live stream viewership. And if you consider that in the heyday of TV, millions of people would tune in live and still do to watch large scale sporting events like the Super Bowl, even sitcom premieres, and more, there's still plenty of room for viewership growth when it comes to live streams. There's actually more upside for viewers tuning into a live stream. You can't interact when you're watching a football game or an episode of Law & Order, but you can during a live stream, which is inherently more authentic and offers a human touch to your audience's viewing experience that they crave. The COVID-19 pandemic accelerated cord cutting for a lot of people who decided they wanted all of their content available on demand rather than at the whims of the people who make the TV programming schedules. <laughs> In fact, eMarketer predicts that OTT service users will climb to over 200 million by 2022. And to be honest, that seems a little low to me. I mean, just consider that Hulu recently earned over $1 billion from OTT ads alone. OTT allows your videos to be consumed beyond just a browser, which is usually a terrible viewing experience anyway. Instead, it allows them to access your video content natively on smart TVs, game consoles, streaming boxes, mobile devices, and more. People want to consume content natively on their devices because it's simple and easy. It fits right into their existing habits. The question is, are you going to meet them there? Personalized native app experiences are the future and the present, to be honest. In fact, in 2020, roughly 50% of Uscreen customers ordered at least one new OTT app. Wow. People love watching other people's lives. There's a reason reality TV shows are so popular. Heck, even some of my favorite things to watch on YouTube are day in the life or what I eat in a day videos. It's fascinating to me to learn about and see other people's routines, habits, and behaviors in a way that feels like exclusive behind the scenes content. With that said, vlogs are actually one of the most popular forms of video content online. As of 2018, 34% of social video viewers watch vlogs on YouTube at least once a month. The only types of content that are more popular are how-to and educational videos. Vlogs humanize brands. While live streams help humanize your brand and let people see that you're human with normal people behind the brand, Vlogging allows you to do the same thing, but with on-demand videos. Vlogging for brands could take this to a whole new level this year. The rawness of vlogs makes your brand more authentic and approachable. It also allows you more creative freedom in how you approach content creation from a brand standpoint. I believe this will be a slower trend this year that will continue gaining momentum in the years to come. Bon Appetit is a great example of this. A food magazine that's been around since 1956, they've grown immensely on YouTube in recent years. A big part of that is their unique style and approach to their channel. The camera work is good, 
the editing is stylish, and like any good show we enjoy watching, there's actually a cast of familiar characters that regularly appear in their videos. They have some great personalities, and their videos or vlogs are almost like a workplace sitcom. Almost all of the videos are in the company's test kitchen, and in any given video, random guests or people might walk up and start interacting with the person that's actually on camera making the video. Some of the interactions remind me a lot of the hit TV show, The Office. While other print publications have gone out of business, Bon Appetit has found a way to thrive and leverage the vlog format, among other kinds of videos, to thrive online and it's paid off for their brand. Not to mention some of the best meals I've ever cooked have been recipes from Bon Appetit. They're crushing it with this style of video and more brands will follow suit in the years to come to leave all of us viewers smiling and satisfied. That's what she said. <laughs> Be sure to click the video over there for your next best step. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any future videos that will help you crush it with your video streaming business. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon.